What's up, y'all? This is Finalized NBA Free Agency Special Edition. Listen, I'm your host, Darnell Oates. Yes! Hey, look, y'all, we got a lot of news right now. A lot of news going on, and the all season has just kicked off, for goodness sake. Look, y'all. Coach Tyrone Lou. That's right, Tyrone Lou. And boy, oh boy, what is what is really going on uh in LA right now with the Clippers, y'all. But um Coach Tyrone Lou is the front runner, the front runner for the position with the Rockets. Man, this thing is unfolding something crazy, man. Like I say, we just a few days in the all season. Um all these free agents that's coming up, um, they got to they got to make some big decisions, y'all. We talking Brandon Ingram, man. We're talking AD, the new NBA champion. AD got some decisions to make, y'all. You know, we're talking Fred Van Leap. Um, also, <laughs> what's up, Ma? <laughs> By the way, Brandon Ingram is expected a five-year offer right now, a max offer from the Pelicans. So this can get real, real crazy. Real, real crazy. And um, just got to alert Stan Van Gundy. Stan Van Gundy is meeting with the Pelicans. What up, Sam? What up, Sam? Thanks for watching. So. Um, you know, that's that's some of the latest news right now. Um, and this all season, as I said, is just kicking off. So um, imagine what's going to come, you know, before the uh, NBA draft, which is, you know, maybe three weeks or so uh, away. That's November 18th, you know, and of course, Finalize is going to have a special edition on that one. So, you know, I'm going to jump right into the topics, you know, and uh, – this this part, you know, I really love and welcome, you know, all my people that um that want to chime in and give their opinions. You know, uh, we're just going to give a few people uh, a little bit of time to kick it in. Um, but um, listen, listen, listen. The Clippers, you know, a real, real uh, big investment during the offseason. You know, with uh, Kawhi, PG, and um, all the pieces surrounding them, uh, Doc Rivers obviously had a crazy, crazy, you know, uh, job on his hands. And it was basically win the ring or at least make it or get bounced. And um, as we see, that's what pretty much happened, you know, and, um, and if, you understand that investment that was put in, you know, by uh, Steve Ballmer, the owner of the Clippers, then you understand and you're not surprised that it uh, transpired the way it did. Um, but with the Clippers, right, you look at Doc being shipped off, Ty Lu looking to uh, take over the Rockets. Um, at least he's the front runner as of now. And even rumors of Sam Cassell, you know, moving on um, to bigger and better things for himself. Like, what's next for the Clippers? You know, and 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 I'm sure what what just happened with LA, the Lakers, that is taking it home. I'm sure that um, left an even a bitter taste in the Clippers' mouth, and um, they're even more desperate to um make something happen so i'm i'm trying to hear from my um, from my viewers man please tap in what's what's next for the clippers you know because it's a lot in the air um me personally i would say they got to find a way to get cp3 in the building you know i think um Kawhi leonard is amazing you know, who is uh, my favorite player personally. 
um, with his commitment to both ends of the bowl. Um, he don't do a lot of uh, chatty patty work out there, you know, uh, lip wrestling with guys, as they call it. Um, he just gets the job done. He's my personal favorite. But with that being said, you know, I like I like to say I'm true to the game. And uh, Kawhi has, has improved himself as a vocal leader to this point. I'm going to just say that. CP3, on the other hand, would, would change the dynamic, in my opinion. You know, viewers, let me know. You know, if, if not CP, who, what, what needs to happen with the LA Clippers? You know, because it's obvious something got to happen. You know, they were uh, projected very, very high. You know, so um, change has got to come for sure, for the Clippers. Um, but um, moving forward, y'all, I have a very, very uh, big announcement somewhat um, from a valuable source. And um, word is, DeMar DeRozan may very well be rejoining his close partner, Cal Larry, and former team, the Toronto Raptors. I mean, I would love to see it. You know, I, I think that uh, it's a good time for that to happen. Leo, <laughs> Ricky Rubio to the Clippers. You a wild dude. <laughs> hey, if anybody else uh, feel like Ricky Rubio could benefit the Clippers, man, please, please let me know, man. But I don't see it, Leo, man. You a wild dude for that one, man. <laughs> yeah, but um, DeMar DeRozan. Please let me know how y'all feel about DeMar DeRozan, man, um, rejoining, well, the possibility of rejoining uh, the Toronto Raptors, you know, because if you really think back for a moment, right, it was just LeBron really in their way, man. You know, Kyle Lowry is a, uh, a heck of a leader, you know, um, and DeMar is a bucket getter. So um, with that, you know, and now these pieces around, I think it's perfect time. LeBron's out the way, you know, in the East. And um, if they find a way to keep Fred Van Leet, which is a whole nother conversation, um, because Van, Van Vliet got to go get his money now. You know, he's a proven champion and um, a solid piece for any uh, team trying to contend you know, so I think um, he's going to be high on the market this all season. You know, um, y'all let me know, man. But I, I really like the idea that um, Toronto um, and um, DeRozan got something in the works, potentially. And um, look, y'all, last but not least, we got we to gotta discuss this. We got to discuss no other than King James. Hey, Leo, man, <laughs> CP3 to the heat. <laughs> that wouldn't be bad, bro. That wouldn't be bad. I wouldn't be mad at that one. I wouldn't be mad at that one. But King James, y'all, listen, I love LeBron James. And LeBron James is clearly the greatest player today. But he's not the GOAT. I'm sorry. All my LeBron people, please, I want to hear from you. Because I, I need 
you guys to explain him or anybody being six for six and don't let teams go past game six in the finals. You know, so you know who I'm talking about. For you real basketball people out there, no other than MJ. You just, you can't, you can't beat six for six. Six final MVPs. I forgot that one. And never went beyond game six in the finals. Come on, man. So all I'm saying is that MJ, he killed the thought. For, forget the fact that he finished people off, but he killed the thought that you can beat him. So he, he never even really allowed guys to believe it because he wasn't going to let you smell a game seven. Look, it's my opinion. I, I want to hear from you guys, man. It's my opinion. Um, but I need to hear explanation. You know, LeBron is amazing. He does uh, incredible things on the floor. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> man, LeBron is... LeBron is uh, something we never seen before. You know, he's in a lane of his own, you know, and I hope he he, he don't stop playing. Uh, I hope it's a long time, man. I hope, we, I hope we got about three to five more years of LeBron, man. That's my wishes because I love to see him bowl, you know. Uh, but, and it's fair. The comparison is fair from this standpoint, y'all. The comparison – it's fair because you're comparing greatness to greatness, you know, um, and that's going to happen. You know, when LeBron move on, there's there's going to be a young boy coming up and everybody's going to um, compare that kid to LeBron and his greatness. You know, and he could be 10, 20 years down the line, but it's it's going to happen because it's greatness to greatness. And, you know, a lot of fans get bent out of shape about it, but um, I look at it as a compliment, you know, to the both of them for being great. Is LeBron going to catch Jordan six rings? <laughs> look, look, bro, even if, even if LeBron does, right, it would never be six for six. That's all I'm saying. It, it, it would never be six for six, even if he get he can get eight. It won't be eight for eight, you know. So that's the that's the that's the thing that uh, LeBron or anybody else you know that comes after is going to have to match. They're going they're going to have to go perfect, six for six or better, and. Um, once again, you know, Mike didn't share. He didn't share any uh, any MVPs, and um, he killed that thought. That thought that you can get him in Game Seven makes all the difference, man. Makes all the difference. So, um, look, y'all. This is finalized. This is the special, special edition, man. And I'm so glad to bring this to y'all. And we're here each and every day during this free agency. You know, I'm finalized. I'm life coach Darnell Oaks. And um, you got to tap back in tomorrow, man, because this news, it never, ever stops. See you on a little bit.